few years ago I went to Kenya, which was a, uh, a big shock to my life because it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And then it just went from that really. And Matt has a part-time job here at Abbeydale Community Centre and uh, all the money he raises from that job he puts towards his trip. Um, he's also a qualified referee and he referees for several Abbey Mead Rovers uh, teams. In July th this year I'm going to be off to Borneo for a month to help work with the local community out there to be work to work with local schools, uh, local people building classrooms, houses, all that sort of stuff. It's about helping other people and I think he gets a, a big reward from seeing the fact that he's, he's helped other people and, and they get so much from, from a role model like this. I'm the type of guy that wants to sort of go out and help people. It changed me as a person really because I've come back, I've become head boy at school, it's sort of given me a confidence. When I first got involved with the Pied Piper Appeal, um, I was 13 because my mum was involved already so I decided that I would like to, you know, help. When we think, oh, we can't take on another thing, Anya says, no, we can do it. Basically, she deals with um, general things in the office, as in like our admin, mail shots, um, but the big things that Anya does, which is such a huge um, a part of our charity and the events, is our motor show and our spring fair. Um, she, she manages all the storeholders, raising you know £15,000 for Spring Found, just storeholders. She helps us with a fashion show, uh, she's our compare. She's just like our little enthusiasm bubble. <laughs> when I go up and see what we've achieved, and I go to Milestones and see that we've put in their playground, and I see the Milestone bus driving around, we're sponsored by the Pied Piper when we bought them the bus, and see just the improvements within the children's centre that really keeps you going. I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was four, but a lot of people get confused because they think I've always had it, when I have always had a disability, but the muscular dystrophy only came into play when I was four, which has affected a lot of my life in different ways. The muscular dystrophy campaign's always been there to help, not just me, but the family, that's what they're there for, to help out everybody. And they've always been there. But then the last few years, I've tried to help them back because of everything they've done for me in the past. I think the main thing I can remember doing was starting with the Tesco campaign. I helped them with the footage they used to release the campaign. And then from there onwards, I've just done what I can to help them, you know, by raising awareness and fundraising when I can. She's inspirational to others. She um, is an ambassador for muscular dystrophy. She'll support them as they've supported us over the years. She's just a true inspiration to anybody. I hope, you know, in the future to keep raising awareness for muscular dystrophy. Um, the most recent thing that's coming up is hopefully September, I'm going to be doing a skydive with a team of hopefully 17 of us, as that is one of my lucky numbers. And uh, there's going to be a huge team of us trying to do it just to raise awareness purely. You know, fundraising obviously comes alongside it. But for me, it's all about raising awareness for muscular dystrophy.